Hi guys, welcome back to another first Descendant video. This game has many different Descendants. Depending on what you need to do or how you like to play, you might choose some over others. Some feel better for Colossus fights, others for dungeon running or even public events, but today we will talk about our most used Descendant. That Descendant is an Enzo, but it is Ultimate Bunny. Now, it doesn't have to be Ultimate Bunny, it can be Regular Bunny as well. We like using Ultimate Bunny because we went for her and she's a tiny bit better than Regular Bunny. What we are going to do today, or what we have been doing with her, you can do with Regular Bunny as well. So why do you want, to, why would this be your most used descendant? <laughs> well, I use Bunny pretty quickly in the story, the original Bunny. I think that was the first character used in Incubator on actually. Yeah, I... I it later, but... I always liked her, especially in a game, it feels like it's a character that gets you from point A to point B pretty quickly. I don't think it's a character that you need to do weird stuff to make it really strong if you want to. Which but when she really easy to yeah. make good. Yeah. And when you make her good, it feels like she just goes, goes through the stuff super quickly. Especially dungeon running or public events or outposts. Look, this. this is the bunny nerf right here. Yeah, they don't like us. I can't even see him. <laughs> and you didn't even like that much bunny or bunny character. No, bunny was not my favorite one, and I know a lot of people don't like her because they just she can do everything. Like for example, pub event, you never even get to do anything because of how good she is. But I don't think that's a problem. It, 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 it kind of like. Yeah, I want to use my weapon and stuff as much as the next guy, but when you get to the point, I mean, we have hundreds of hours in the game, when you get to that point, it's like, I want to do it fast, like, I want to be done with it. The public event, as fast as we can do it to level up proficiency of the character or the weapon, or just to grind out money or whatever it may be, if Bunny makes it faster, of course that's what I want to do. And she does, she makes it really quick. And I know, like, Valby and, and Glay can do some rip crazy stuff too for killing like just mobbing and and uh, Ajax as well, but I think Bunny's really easy to get to that point. I love Bobby. I will consider myself almost a Bobby main, but for stuff like this, I still think Bunny's better. Oh yeah, Bunny's not my favorite. I don't have anything against Bunny. I think she's the most useful descendant, or one of the most useful descendants. But I, I mean, like I think I actually prefer Freyna, but I don't think. I mean, Freyna does everything pretty pretty okay too. But I don't think she can run. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she can. But for me, at least the way I have her set up, I can't run through a dungeon like this or a public event or whatever as fast as I can with, with Bunny. And this just Bunny was really easy. And we have fully invested in her. She's actually the first descendant that we put, like, everything. She has the activator and she has a catalyst in every single spot. She has the transcendent card. I have every transcendent card for her. I think we do too. Yeah, I do. Just incredibly easy to get to a good point. But no, I, I, I know... I, I guess I don't know why people don't like her. I, I, it has to just be because you completely take them out of the game. If you have a good bunny, you just... Or two good bunnies, for example, in a pub event, you just completely eliminate anybody else that's in it because of how fast you can do everything. And I think that's great. I get upset if I don't see bunnies in public events when I'm trying to get character experience or yeah. weapon proficiency or whatever. I hate not having a bunny there that I'm not using, so I, again, she's not my favorite, but she's incredibly useful, very, very useful, especially when you get to the very end game and all you do is grind, 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 the outposts, the dungeons, whatever. And we don't really use her for Colossus, but... Well, we have, and she works fine, but I don't really use her for, for Colossus fights. I prefer to use, we have a, I have a Balvi build for killing Colossus that I, I enjoy using more, and you have a Rena build for that too. Uh, we know Bunny can be a, a, a Colossus killer, but the way we play, I think we prefer her for dungeon running, public events, public or, events. If we, or if we need to do some patrols or outposts, stuff like that. Or the outpost, yes. Yeah. Which is a majority of what we do in the game. Yeah, that's like 99% of the time. We rarely are fighting Colossus if we don't have to. Hey, I even yeah. saw her health. <laughs> Another Haley chip. Oh, Haley chip can... code. I didn't get one, I don't think. Wow. Start my second run for Haley. <laughs> no. 
This is an incredibly short mission. It's a short mission no matter what you do, but again, it's With Bonnie's been, like two I mean, minutes. It, it's, yeah, it's like two minutes, two and a half minutes max, and I'm sure you could run through it faster, but I mean, we, you, you can make her a lot stronger for sure offensively, but um, I like having some defense. I don't want to be like just... Yeah. I want to be able to have some survivability with her. That's another thing. Um, I don't have great component. So the thing we do is use the skills like the modules we put on her to compensate for the lack of good components or component sets. So maybe if Sondera get better roles for components, we can make her a stronger killing, but at the health we are missing or the defense through the components is that. I mean, there, there's like two different setups I would use with her probably because I don't, we don't take her to Colossus fights really. So I there's there's definitely two different setups you could use hmm. for us the way we we play the game. Um, but I'd say this is the the normal one, the one that lets us get through these dungeons pretty fast. Maybe not like world record pace, but get get through them really quickly. To grind mm. them, or again, I just keep referring back to it, the outpost. We do a lot of outpost grind, <laughs> yeah. like a ton of outpost grind. So, um, yeah, and I just got like we've had her maxed out and ready to go for quite a while, but I just got the uh, what's this card called? High voltage. Uh, high voltage I just got yeah. the high voltage. The, card. the card that you all guys recommend, the transcendent card, high voltage. Yeah, I just got that the other day. You've had it for a while. I've yeah. I've been trying to get it. I had every other card for it, but that was the one I was missing. And so now I finally got it. I'm using that one. Yeah, I go, I was lucky enough to get my card by combining. Whoa. <laughs> combining cards. But Mr. Here, he got it through a Colossus fight. Yeah, I got it through Colossus for sure. That was quick. And to wrap up this video a tiny bit while doing this mission, he wanted to talk about all the kind of hate comments that Bunny gets, a lot. asking, <laughs> yeah, asking to nerf it, asking for not have a Bunny in a team, to ban her from missions, etc. And it's really surprising because whether you like Bunny or not, you have to admit that she's pretty quick and really good at what she does. I mean, this game is basically just grind after you reach end game. It is just right. <laughs> so we were wondering, would it, wouldn't it be smarter to use a character that helps you to grind, not just faster, but better? Like you can get to the point quicker. You can kill enemies really fast. I don't know. I told That's... you, I, or I said that I think, I think the, and, and maybe there's other problems with it besides just what I was saying, but I think like in the beginning, and she, I said she still isn't my favorite character, but I think you want to play the game. It's a shooter game, even if it's not like a first-person shooter. I think that bunny takes away a lot of that from people when, yeah. you're, when, she, when you're trying to run through dungeons and stuff. So I think that is part of the reason maybe why people don't like her. And I wasn't the biggest fan of that either in the beginning, because of course I wanted to shoot my weapon. I still prefer to do that. But if you get to this point, and maybe you still don't like her, that's fine. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to convince anybody to like Bunny. I don't care if you want to use her or not. If you want to make things harder on yourself or whatever, then be my guest. I don't care. Or if you have a better build with with Valby or someone like that, then great. But I just think somebody. I saw somebody say how the 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 wording they used was they said that it's so Oops. it's so dumb to use a brain dead character where it doesn't take any skill. Well, I think it's actually more brain dead to use a character that's inferior, that's harder to do this with, than to just use the one that's easier. And I'm not just saying Bunny, I'm saying that, that anyone. Why would you want to make it harder on yourself if you're grinding this yeah. hard? Especially... Want, yeah, and especially, not a lot of people has a lot of time to grind this game. This game is pretty grindy and a lot of people will say, oh, if you don't have the time to grind, then you don't play this game. Well... Maybe that person still wants to play this game and does it have five hours a day to grind? Maybe you only have one hour or two hours. I will use a character that can get you that grind done with. Like, you can do that grind quickly. Yeah, it, it just...
just it isn't uh, our favorite descendant. It isn't uh, you're being not smart if you're not using bunny. It's just that's what we are using and what we use the most. I'm yeah. curious what other people's most used descendant is because I'm sure not everybody's gonna say bunny, and that's yeah. perfectly fine. That's actually why I'm really curious what other people use a lot for your heavy heavy grind. Yeah. I have and we already kind of mentioned it, but I've seen really good mobbing builds for Glay. I've seen really good, really fun ones for Ajax. Um, I know Valby can do it. I think probably Biesa can do it too. So yeah, there's a lot of descendants that you could do it with. I mean, even like Blair, wouldn't if you did something like to make his fire oh, yeah. a area, he probably could do it too. Now that That's you mentioned like, that. That's why I weird about mentioning Blair because I feel like Actually, you could do some cool stuff with him, probably. Yeah, I remember seeing one comment on the channel saying that somebody was investing to get that flamethrower attack to basically come back all the time. So he was just always using fire. Maybe that would work. I never tried myself, yeah, but yeah. Could. Or his Q that puts down pools of fire or whatever. So yeah, there's a lot of the sense you could do it with, for sure. I'm not, I'm not saying that... I don't, I don't even know if Bunny's the best. I think she's the best, but maybe there's maybe you found a way to make another one better. I'm just saying that this is the one that we use the most because she was very easy to 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 get to the point to be able to grind stuff like this, missions and outposts and public events. That was everything for today's video. We were really curious to know what your most used descendant is, what you like bringing for mobbing, what do you like bringing for dungeon running, and overall, if you don't like using Bunny, what is your alternative? But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.